What's up YouTube? Um, as I've said, uh, I'm going to paste as well um, a tutorial, but um, I'm not trying it myself again because I've tried it five, six times. And there's a lot of tutorials out there. I mean, on the forums, there's different ways and different ones. They have different methods. And with everyone, pretty much there's a lot of problems. So I'm here to kind of allay those fears. I've done about five, um, you know, and I'm not really going to try it again. Um, to be honest yet I'm gonna wait for a better version or something very concrete I know that works at the moment we're just clutching at straws uh, with some of the programs so I'm just gonna run through some of the trouble troubleshooting okay main of them saying it's bricked okay you cannot brick your iPod um, at all you can semi brick it uh, which I call it semi bricking which um, happens when after the white when after it goes white um, it goes complete black kind of like a bricked um, iPod and especially when you get the problems uh, USB not connected then you know it's sort of bricked so yes you can semi brick it but not fully brick it so it doesn't work there's always a way around it the main problem is people are getting confused they think they have to hold it until they hear see the message USB not recognized because that is a big problem um, basically you don't what you do, count in your head, do it yourself, hold the um, power button and the home button for 10 seconds, okay? After 10 seconds, 11 seconds, not even, not much longer than that, let go of the power button and then keep holding the um, the home button and it will come into iTunes because I had a problem with that last uh, last night that it wouldn't recognize on iPod, um, iTunes. I tried about 30, 40 times, but I didn't know I had to do it 10 seconds so 10 seconds um, when you start and then keep holding on the home button and you will get into DFU mode and from there you can um, basically uh, put the firmware of your choice on okay um, I've put on the, the latest one always works I tried to put on 2.1.1 the firmware that I was on before and it won't allow me so for some reason I don't know why it hasn't worked but I'm on 2.21 now which you cannot jailbreak from okay so you've got to go to 2.1.1 um, so yeah when you have iTunes run hold it down keep pressing it and then go restore iPod um, if you've done all the jailbreaking methods don't try to do um, don't try to restore it to another jailbreak or another version because it won't work and it will just bugger up your iPod so make sure that you're um, when you're restoring it try to restore it to the same one that you're using or an official one not another customed one or something like that do it the one that you were doing it before or a an official firmware okay hey I'll try going to into DFU and I iTunes recognized it uh, is it in restore mode I think it should be doing be doing that right but I get no white screen I've unplugged and replugged but still nothing uh, disconnect your iPod reconnect your iPod do the key combination to get into DFU mode you know holding power and home for 10 and then keeping on home uh, and then you should be in DFU mode now what you would do is go into your CMD um, you know your command prompt and basically put in iRecovery uh, minus F which you do in the uh, tutorial try it twice unplug for 10 seconds and back in and then you should get to your white screen make sure you are in DFU mode DFU node mode is not the iTunes logo with the USB okay there's another one connect it you must hold your sleep wake then let go of the sleep da -da 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 -da. you hear a noise and then you know you're in DFU mode and then it's basically the same one and then it should go white so that's to get uh, to a white screen there's been quite a lot of problems with that okay where do I place the ISPW and the files from it okay so what you do you get your um, a official 2.1.1 um, firmware and what you do is open that and take a file out of it as you can see here in the picture I've ringed the three images you need from that one file is the IBSS drag it to iRecovery SVN folder and uh, rename it IBSS 211.dfu okay and on the custom firmware which is in win uh, which is in Xpon uh, basically go into that and get 
the iBoot which is in the all flash folder and then the production folder and then it should be on there and rename that to iBoot 221.img3 and um, basically do the same as you did for the 211 get the IBSS off the 2.21 custom and rename that to IBS 221.dfu so you've got three files and they're the files that they should be okay so loads of people have problems with doing that or don't understand hopefully that clears that up okay uh, the last bit there's quite a lot of coding you've got to put in to um, get it booting again and some people still don't understand doing it and especially using CMD a lot is is going to get confusing so someone has created a bootloader uh, there's been quite a few um, what I'll do if, if I, I can't um, do it myself I can't show it or give it to people um, I, d I don't know if it's illegal I, th I just don't think people are allowed to do it so basically go on to that link pause the video write down that iPod touch fans forum show thread and what you do is just ask there and then they will PM you so um, you'll get the bootloader basically it just gets past the bit of um, it's easier for some people just to you click it it's a dot bat file and it's just like an exe in a sense you double click it and then you run through the steps and then your iPods uh, booted so um, it's easy for some people okay DFU mode with, uh, with the white screen I open iTunes and it recognizes the person spelling is pretty bad recognize it's uh, DFU I shift restore to the jailbroke confirmware it extracts the logo comes up prepare an iPod and then I get an error 1601 there's other 16 errors there is um, there's a 1648 error and some other ones as well that I've had. Um, they say get rid of your command prompt because um, he had the same problem and close it and it worked and then redo it. If that doesn't happen, control delete and in your processes, I shall show you that. Control delete, as you can see, there's more processes. And look, iPod service and there's other ones as well. So get rid of them. So go to iPod service, go to end process and then it will end the process and just keep going da going down and looking for stuff with Apple mobile device iPod and iTunes and stuff like that let's get rid of that and then try it and it could work there's been people saying it does that does work it doesn't I've tried it twice uh, I tried it once actually and it did kind of work and then I did it again and it didn't so you know it's a bit hit and miss okay so now you think you've jailbreak it you may have jailbreak it but there is still quite a lot of problems that you're going to go through and there's a lot of freezing there's a lot of um, things where applications are not placed in the same area but there is quite a few problems for some reason and these are just some I've noted there's there's a lot but these are quite a few of them um, categories froze you know um, main thing of freezing on an application and now it won't reboot and it doesn't recognize by my PC so it says no iPod found even though that lib USB is installed and um, I had the same problem okay this is what I did unplug the USB from the computer and plug it back in make sure iTunes is running and your iPod's already in DFU mode okay I've got some problems with Cydia when I download it says cache failed etc it shouldn't be much of a problem but some people are saying that afterwards they can't download anything off Cydia even if they click OK so some people it works some it don't and also a lot of Wi-Fi problems that they can't find Wi-Fi, they can't actually do it or it freezes trying to look for Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So there is still really quite a lot of errors even even when you've uh, jailbroken. So my advice to you would be at the moment was wait for an untethered version which I'm going to do. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I've showed it, I've tried it but I nearly kind of killed my iPod so I'm not really going to do it at the moment. But um, another one is to, these are the rebooting steps. As you can see, this is what you need to put in. And uh, if, yeah, if you need to boot it up and you don't know what to boot up, this is what you need to do. Um, the codes, this uh, the middle section and the bottom are in um, CMD command prompt, and so is the iRecovery DFU um, at the top, which is right there. iRecovery DFU, da da da. That just that one section that section and that section is all uh, command prompt but yeah a lot of problems just wait for a new one there's going to be one soon and comment rate subscribe